And our team coverage continues tonight as calls for help continue to ring. A cleanup hotline is now in place for your tornado recovery needs. Starting today, they're extending their services to make sure storm victims get the support and resources they need. Tunis reporter Aliyah Williamson explains what she's learned about the process. Brooke and Mark, the crisis cleanup hotline has connected more than 250 homeowners to relief agencies since the tornado outbreak. But the organization believes many more people are in need of help, which is why their work will continue into next week. Crisis cleanup is an online system that allows residents who are affected by a disaster to request for debris removal and cleanup assistance. Thousands across the greater Dayton area reported damage to their homes, but not many are aware of free resources available to support their recovery. We only have 323 cases logged into the system, and we realize that that is not indicative of the need. So we wanted to make sure that there was plenty of time where people who do need assistance are able to access the system and then request that assistance. The hotline will now be open until June 21st. Volunteer organizations can access the digital database and respond to help with debris and cleanup. Sinclair Community College is also stepping in to help. We have canvassing available, so our employees are going door-to-door -door trying to find um, residents that need help and care. So Sinclair has taken on a role in that we're just trying to help facilitate um, residents who need help with this program that can supply help. The hotline does have some limitations to it. This is not for any, any social service um, help. It's not for uh, repair or rebuilding. It is only for debris removal and cleanup assistance. Some of the services these organizations do offer includes cutting trees, removing drywall, tarping roofs, and more.